Hello there folks. Uh, after a very tough day I felt still that I wanted to do a, a clip and a response to a, a discussion that's been going on uh, here now for a couple of videos. Uh, discussion discussion I feel like <laughs> everyone who uh, every video I've seen it's uh, people we, we all have the same uh, opinions almost about the, this question it is um, uh, response to a uh, mean Mr. Major's little video about old music and new music and I felt like I wanted to uh, do my video in this in the subject because it is a subject actually that, that uh, is very close to my heart uh, that, that, that uh, I find very very interesting how the music business has shifted uh, and uh, you can't say that that I am a person like uh, Joe or Adam uh, Said that they were uh, that that people that that they were living in some some kind of a bob bubble. Uh, I don't find that uh, anything wrong with that. Not not at all. I mean, music is entertainment, and if it is one uh, artist or one uh, genre that that uh, makes you happy, uh, go ahead with it. But I am the kind of guy, as you have seen in my videos, who is very very wide in, in my musical taste. And uh, I found that uh, pretty, pretty. I'm very satisfied with that. I tried to, I tried to, to uh, put myself in a category a very few times when I was a kid, but I realized that I am a person who likes different kind of music, and I find that a very big fortune because going to to the second hand stores is so much funnier. Uh, see uh, guys walking there hoping to find a nice good 60s record doesn't find anything at the moment go back home and I don't find in the 80s but all of a sudden I found a Jimmy Lansford record so and or I maybe I found a CD with, with uh, two unlimited so, so I mean uh, I am uh, very much to choose between all of a sudden. But uh, the interesting thing here is that I'm a kind of guy who uh, always had to, uh, earlier in the 90s found uh, uh, been a guy who hated the new stuff uh, until I found something that actually was good. I hated Eurodance music and techno music until I found some things that was actually good and it it uh, grow very fast and all of a sudden I was a huge Eurodance fan. I hated Oasis and Suede and Britpop until I found that some things that actually were good and then it grew on, it grew on, it, on me all of a sudden and now I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, and uh, when you heard a song on the at the radio, you waited with, with the passion to, to to record that song and uh, felt very proud of it. And then you went straight ahead to the record store and bought that single and felt very proud of it because you had uh, bought a new single actually that was very very good that you now had uh, your own uh, your own uh, ex of. But nowadays, I don't feel that l anymore. Uh, 90s were the per period when my musical taste uh, uh, developed at the, mo uh, the most, as I said in my 90s video. But nowadays, uh, the interest had, uh, or since uh, 2000, I might add, my, my uh, interest interest for uh, looking for new music in what's uh, popular today is pretty much gone. Uh, of course, there are some new stuff that I actually have been uh, been uh, 
talking about that I found actually good some but there are some really good synth pop uh, bands to, as of today I mentioned churches uh, that's a great American band called Icky Blossoms that is actually good so so there are great new bands but there are very few of them and my interest of uh, developing styles is pretty much gone because there aren't too many styles uh, the music of today I uh, uh, you might say that I'm, I'm so deadly bored and tired of it because it's so uh, uninteresting uh, it's, uh, where in the music from the past still had uh, a beat it had a rhythm it had uh, something that made you go wow this is awesome this is so good this is a really really funky good song I don't find that anymore. It is just mainstream songs that goes on and on without a rhythm, without a beat. There are some cool production, but what what does a good production do if you don't have any beat to it? If you don't have any melody in it, because there's no real melody or refrain that. Because I'm a guy who likes strong refrains. No refrains. It's just uh, something that goes in here and out here uh, and uh, very much suitable for the kind of uh, musical formats that we have of today. I said before that I don't use Spotify or, or iTunes or something like that. But, but then, then of course, I mean, I, if now there is just uh, junk that is played on the radio that, that, that or junk uh, crap music that are made, I mean... Uh, Maybe it's, I don't care if the, the, it's released on a physical format. I mean, I, I buy my my uh, vinyl, my CDs, uh, and because uh, I have explored so much new music uh, in, in the old styles that I maybe I don't need the new music. Uh, I explored the 70s a lot, uh, and, and uh, so uh, new music constantly keeps coming to me, but. It isn't all. I'm not all that interested in developing new music as I was in the past. I miss that a lot to be able to be so curious because I'm very curious of exploring new music. But uh, I think my limit is is reached when it ca comes to to uh, how much the music business can change, how much the music can change. But of course, I mean, I buy. Uh, music with uh, artists from the past that have released new albums, of course. That that is, uh, I can, I buy new music, music like that. I mean, so, so I'm not totally gone, just because I don't uh, listen to uh, music of today's artists. I mean, this is Peter Le Marc's uh, latest album from 2012. This is garbage, the indie rock group with their latest album from 2000 and my eyes is not with me, I think it's from 2012 also uh, not your kind of people uh, Depeche Mode the latest from 2013 Delta Machine you have this is an awesome new album from Ultravox brilliant really the title of this album is really suitable because it's a, it really is brilliant uh, new album from 2012 no 13 12 12 uh, really awesome new album with, with uh, Mitch Your still singing really really good and out of box sounding like they should so uh, there are good new. There are some new music that are good, but I can't. I, I can't actually. Uh, it, it doesn't uh, do me anything. The new music from this today's modern artists, because they are not made. They, they don't. They don't have any soul in the music. Uh, but the music from the past, uh, even techno music that uh, that also have very similar productions. Many of them are made with some kind of a at least melody that hits you in the head that actually makes you uh, really feel that it's awesome but today's music is just made for radio it's made for for uh, temporary use or for parties it's not something that uh, anybody remember 
That's why I dislike so much new music. And I envy you Americans. And I envy you a little. Because when Swedes uh, hear a new musical style that actually many Swedes like, they are like a horde of people going in the same direction. And if you don't, don't follow that trend, you're out of it. You're you seem like a crazy who don't, don't understand this. Uh, and it's been like this in the 90s when the 80s ended. You, 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 you were totally insane if you listened to the 80s. It, like, like, right now it's you're totally insane if you listen to the 90s. Uh, and I mean, you Americans have, or British also, I guess, British people, has, have a way to actually uh, realize that they have the musical past. There have been an 80s. They've been in the 70s. They've been in the 90s. They were good stuff. They were bad stuff. And uh, those things that were bad were bad. But those things that were good were really good. And uh, we can listen to it anyway. Sweets doesn't work uh, generally. Of course, there are exceptions. But, but uh, generally, the general musical Swedish musical lover doesn't work that way. We follow the trends and we're supposed to do it, everyone, at the same time. And... Uh, 80s, but we don't have to talk about that. It's a little shame. The sweet thing say 80s is a little shameful. Uh, and 90s, what, 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 what would that actually? So, so uh, I envy you Americans a little bit because you have the, 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 the feeling to actually uh, remember, to, to actually be a little more open in different styles and different music from different uh, ages, different de decades than most of us leads. So in that case, I wonder if I... If I'm really or if I'm really am a Swede, <laughs> so um, if I found any new music, I like it. But uh, my curiosity for the new, new music that I had in the nineties is uh, very limited and, and uh, not all that big as it were, were then actually. But I really love to search for new music from artists that I know and that I always have liked. So with that, I hope that I haven't been all too. Uh, babbling, <laughs> that you have uh, understood my opinions and that you have uh, listened to it. And uh, uh, until next time, keep listening to very good music, whether it's new or old. So long.